Hello, girls and Rob. It's Wednesday. Yesterday was Patty's birthday, so I hope you had a great day filled with lots of wizard dance parties and everything awesome because you definitely deserve it. Last week, Mackenzie challenged me to be British for part of my video, but I decided that since I pretend to be British quite a lot and I quite like pretending to be British, I would be British for my entire video now that I have the chance. So here you go. Now today is British Day and I thought I would show you some British things. These are all from one of my best friends in London. Well, not really London, but very, very close to London. She's very close to London. She sends me British things all the time. And I always get to listen to her British accent and she's quite lovely. So I'm going to show you some British things that she's sent me over time. Indeed. So this is a British card. It says, I love London. And she sent me a British box filled with British things. It, like British tea and British socks and British sherbet lemons and British, British everything really. So she sends me a lot of British stuff and I would show you the British socks but I'm not quite sure where they are because I was wearing them today and anyone who knows me knows that I like socks, like I like socks a lot but I don't like wearing them, it's very weird. I like socks, I obsess over socks, I collect socks, all kinds of socks but I hate wearing them so I don't know where they are but they are awesome. I've also got some British keychains but they are also downstairs in my bag so can't see those. A British pin right here, which I also got from my friend. It says I love London. I wear it quite a lot. And I think that's all. And yes, there's more, but I'm not quite sure where it is because I, whenever I get something British, I throw it around everywhere in obsession. Yes. So today is awesome because Patty's birthday was yesterday and today is British Day. You can't really go wrong. It's been an awesome week so far, so I still haven't found any nerds. So if there are any nerds watching and I don't know you yet, please leave a comment so we can be friends. Alright? I was about to say yay! But then I thought that wouldn't be too British. But actually it would because my British friends say yay a lot. So can't really stereotype. So yes. Um... Okay, I'm going to do a challenge as well. So I have a dice here. It's actually the one from the Harry Potter Cena game, so I'm going to use it. I'm going to use my British box as a desk because I am actually sitting on my desk at the moment, so I can't use it. So here we go. Um, the person I roll, I challenge you to dance like a hippogriff, preferably in public, but if you can't do it, then wherever. But dance like a hippogriff in public if you can. Okay, here we go. No, wait, no, six. There's no nine on a dice. Okay, six. Who's six? Wait. We don't have a six. Wait. Yes, we do. No, we don't. No, we don't. I'm sorry. Math. Maths. They have an S in England when they say math. Is, um, yes, I don't like math, so I can't even count. Can't even count. Yes, okay. So let's try again. Let's not roll. Dance like hippogriff in public. If you can. Five. Do we have a five? Wait, okay. Monday's one, Tuesday's two, Wednesday's three, Thursday's four. Ella, dance like a hippogriff in public if you can. If you can't, then don't. But yes, dance like a hippogriff. Okay. Um, what else? I think that's about it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I can't pick top five colleges because indeed I am in college and. Well, I go to college quite near to me, but, but, if I had the choice, I wouldn't go to any college or university. I would go to Hogwarts. Mackenzie, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't forget to be awesome.